All right, guys, today we are looking at section 9.4, which is compositions of transformations. A composition of transformations is simply when we have multiple transformations put together. Um, one of our most common ones is called a glide reflection. A glide reflection is where you translate or you glide it over first and then you reflect it over a line. So let's take a look at our example over here to the right is if I look at this glide reflection, I am translating it along vector V, so it slides the same distance as V, and then I am reflecting it over line L. So this is kind of the midway um, piece, and then this is where we end up. So we're going to end up from JKL doing the glide, then reflection to get J prime, K prime, L prime. Um, also, what you may see sometimes, and I'll show you again later, is using double prime. So if you label this one as J prime, K prime, L prime, then you could use double primes, which would look like this, um, in order to help you determine, because sometimes it's easier as you're doing multiple transformations to keep track of your transformations along the way by giving them the same letters. Um, so what you can do is just add multiple primes for multiple transformations. Okay, anytime we have more than one isometry, our final transformation is still an isometry. Meaning if you never change the size or shape of the figure, then your final figure is going to be the same size and shape as your initial figure. So, um, when we take a look at example one. So with example one, we're going to draw our glide reflection here. We want to, re well actually we're gonna do a reflect and then a glide. Okay, so we wanna reflect it over the line first and then we're gonna translate it along vector V. So remember that when we are um, reflecting over a line, I want to attempt to make line L that perpendicular bisector. So I'm going to go ahead and label that point as B prime here. Actually, let me move that a little bit. Okay, so this point here is gonna be B prime. Then I'm going to repeat here. I want, I'm going, okay, so it's about this distance to the line. I wanna try and match that on the other side so that I can get my A prime. And then again, we're gonna repeat that from C to the line. And we wanna go about the same distance again from the other side. So right about here is my C prime. Because this is not my final image, I am gonna go ahead and dot it. So that way I know that this is not done yet. Then the next thing that I wanna do is I wanna reflect it, or excuse me, translate it along this vector right here for V. So I am going to take my vector, and again, you guys can use that piece of paper trick that I showed you in class, where you trace the vector with your piece of scratch paper, then flip that over and draw pencil on the back, and then flip your paper back over and try and line it up. Um, so I can have the ability here to just slide this vector around, but you should be doing that um, piece of paper trick that I showed you in class. Okay, so this is gonna be from here, I'm moving my B here. So this is B double prime. This is what I was kind of just talking about. Then I'm gonna take my vector and I'm gonna slide it over here to C. So now that this is gonna be C double prime, and then I'm gonna take my vector here and I'm gonna put it on A prime so that I can translate this here to get A double prime. This is my final shape. And sometimes it's also nice to just kind of color it in. So a lot of times you'll see me um, especially when we're doing like worksheets and stuff like that. Sometimes it gets a little hard when you're graphing to do this. So I'm going to shade this one in so we know that this is the final one. 
So when you're doing yours, just make sure I can tell which one is your final one, either by you coloring it in or by having all of your other ones just kind of dotted so I know that you're not done yet. Okay, if you have any questions on that, go ahead and copy it onto your note taking guides now. Okay, so now we're going to take a look at what happens when we have um, uh, our, we're doing our multiple transformations here on a coordinate plane. Sorry. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I want to rotate it 90 degrees and then we're going to reflect across the Y. So when I think back about my rotations, the first thing that I want to remember is what was my rotation um, rule. So my rotation rule was X, Y is going to map onto. So for rotating 90 degrees, that mapped onto negative Y comma X. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to write my original ordered pairs. R is at 1, 2. S is at 1, 4. And T is at negative 3, 4. So then when I am rotating it, R prime, S prime, and T prime, I switch my values and I'm negating that Y. So this becomes negative 2, 1, negative 4, 1, and negative 4, negative 3. So I'm going to go ahead and plot that now. So negative 2, positive 1. So this is R prime. And then S prime is negative 4, 1. So this is going to be S prime. And then T prime is negative 4, negative 3, which is right here, T prime. So again, because this is not my final transformation, I'm just going to go ahead and dot this triangle. Then I'm going to kind of rewrite my points down here. R prime was at negative 2, 1. S prime is at negative 4, 1. And T prime is at negative 4, negative 3. Okay, then the next step is to reflect. I am reflecting it across the Y axis. So my reflection rule for the Y is that XY is going to map on to negative X comma Y. So all I'm doing here, excuse me, is negating my X values. So negative two becomes positive two. So this is two, one for R double prime. S double prime is gonna be four, one. And T double prime is gonna be four, negative three. All right, so then we're gonna go ahead and graph that. So we have two, one here for R double prime. And then we have 4, 1 is going to be our S double prime. And then 4, negative 3 is our T double prime. So this is my final image. So I'm going to make sure it is not dotted. And I'm going to draw it just a little thicker. This one I'm not going to shade in, but you could if you wanted to. So you're more than welcome to shade or not. Just make sure it's clear which one is your final image. All right, if you have any questions about that, go ahead and write it down now. Okay, what we're looking at here is a translation or a rotation can be found by doing two reflections. Okay, so what I'm looking at here is I want to find where the lines of reflection would be. So what happens is if I look at A to A prime, okay, and now you have these steps listed out on the side of your notes, okay? I'm going to look at A to A prime, and I'm actually going to go ahead and make this, come on, I just want this one. Hmm. Whoopsies. Try and grab in the right thing here. Just that. Thank you. I'm going to go ahead and make this dotted. 
Okay, so I'm going to find this segment A to A prime. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and try and estimate here where the center is. So this would be the midpoint for A to A prime. Okay, again, I'm not actually measuring. I am just guessing to see about where it's going to be. This is all I'm really looking for you to do as well. I'm not looking for you to have exact measurements. Okay, so then I'm going to look for the midpoint here, which is about here, and the midpoint over on this side, which is about here. So what I'm going to do from there is draw those two lines here, oops, a little crooked, and here, and miss the dot. So let me get those kind of fixed a little bit here. Shimmy that over, and shimmy that over. Okay, so what happens is if I take this triangle here, ABC, and I reflect it over this line, it's going to look about like this. Okay, again, I'm sketching. I'm not even really looking really hard at it. Okay, but it'll look about like this. Then, let's see if I can get that a little better. Okay, here. It's actually going to, should be about here and here and here and here. Okay, so this is about where my reflection for ABC is going to be. Then if I reflect that again over this line, I end up at A prime, B prime, C prime. So that's what this is talking about. If I reflect this twice over parallel lines, then I'm ending up beginning to end is just a translation. So when I reflect over two parallel lines, I have a translation. So two parallel lines, lines, gives you a translation. Okay, then we're going to look over here. We're going to reflect again over two parallel lines, or excuse me, over two lines, but this time we're going to intersect those lines. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to draw angle D prime P D. All right, and just like I did over here, I want to find the middle. So I'm doing that angle bisector, All right? Again, I'm pretty much guesstimating here. I'm looking to see are these close. And then I'm going to bisect each one of these. Oh, totally missed the point on that one. Let me grab one more here. Try that again. So if I were to kind of ignore these lines, this one, and this one and this one. Now don't erase them from your paper, but I just kind of wanted to show you, I can't grab that one, come on, um, what it's gonna look like here. If I reflect this triangle, oh, let's do D, E, F, over this line, I'm gonna be looking somewhere right in here. Okay, not exactly, but kind of close. Then if I reflect it again over this line, it's going to flip up and land on top of this one. So two reflections when your lines intersect are going to give you a rotation. So I'm rotating this this way. All right, so that's what you need to remember is two intersecting lines are a rotation. Two parallel lines are a translation. So what I would like for you to go ahead and do is pause the video and try this one on your own. Okay, so you may need to pause the video to kind of check your answers here. Notice that I wrote down points R, S, and T. Then in green, I wrote my first transformation, which was a translation. And then in red, I wrote my second translation or transformation was a reflection over the line Y equals zero. Please realize that the line Y equals zero is the X axis because every Y value on this line is zero, okay? Um, so please write down any questions you have about that, and I will see you guys in class. Have a wonderful day.